everyone, this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with non constant questions or variable questions. So, let's get going. Problem solve x square y double dash minus x y dash plus y equals to x. Solution. So, we are given a differential equations with a differential equation with variable constant right so we'll reduce this to linear differential equation with constant coefficients okay let's give an equation or give a differential equation x square y double dash minus x y dash plus y equals to x we know that y dash is dy by dx and y double dash is d square y by dx square right now we can write the given equation as x square into d square y by dx square minus x into dy by dx plus y equals to x we know that d is a differential operator with respect to x then d square will be d square by dx square right and this becomes x square into d square y minus x into dy plus y equals to x. Okay. Now, take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We'll get x square d square minus x d plus 1 into y equals to x. Right. Consider the given equation as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Fine. Now, we'll reduce this equation to linear differential equation with constant equations okay simply put x equals to e power z then we'll get log x equals to z for x greater than zero and let theta equals to d by dz okay theta is a differential operator where with respect to z here z is an independent variable and if theta equals to d by z, dz then xd will be theta, x square will be theta into theta minus 1. Okay, now this equation becomes this equation becomes Replace x square, d square and x d by these two and replace this x by e power z. Okay, we'll write everything in terms of theta and z. So this becomes theta into theta minus 1 minus replace x d by theta plus 1 into y equals to replace x by e power z. Z theta into theta theta square minus theta into 1 theta minus theta plus 1 into y equals to e power z. Then we'll get theta square minus theta minus theta is minus 2 theta plus 1 into y equals to e power z. Right? Which is in operator form. f of theta into y equals to some function of x, right? Where f of theta equals to theta square minus 2 theta plus 1. Now let's find the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Okay, we'll find yc using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, we have f of theta, theta square minus 2 theta plus 1, right? Replace differential operator by m, so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 2m plus 1. Now the auxiliary equation becomes 
m square minus 2m plus 1 equals to 0. Right? So, this is of a square minus 2ab plus b square form. So, we can write it as m minus 1 whole square equals to 0. Right? Here you are having m minus 1 whole square again. You can write this as m minus 1 into m minus 1 equals to 0. Now we equate each factor to 0 to get roots. We will get m equals to 1 since m minus 1 is repeating twice. So we will get m equals to 1, 1. Okay, which are the roots of our auxiliary equation. See, consider the reduced equation as equation 3 for our convenience. Therefore, the roots are real and equal. We know that when two roots are real and equal, then yc will be c1 plus c2 into independent variable. Here, we have theta equals to d by dz, right? Theta is a, I mean, theta is a differential operator. And this is equals to d by dz. Here, z is an independent variable. So, instead of x, we'll use z here. Okay? If we use d, we'll have x as a independent variable. Then, there, we'll use x. But here, by coming to theta, we'll have z as an independent variable, right? So, we'll get c1 plus c2z into e power that equal root into z. Now, coming to our complementary function, yc will be equals to c1 plus c2z into e power equal root 1 into z. This is equals to c1 plus c2z into e power z, right? Now, yc is in z, right? Now, let's replace it with z equals to log x and e power z equals to x in terms of x. Now, we'll write yc in terms of x. We'll get c1 plus c2 into for z equals to log x and e power z x. Okay, these are yc. Now let's find yp. We'll find particular integral using 1 by f of theta into rh's part, e power z. Okay, this equals to 1 by we have f of theta, theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 into e power z, right? This is of 1 by f of theta into e power a into z form, right? f of theta equals to theta square minus 2 theta plus 1. Now compare e power z with e power a z, then for a equals to 1, we'll find f of a, which is equals to f of 1, just replace theta by 1, we'll get 1 square minus 2 into 1, 2 plus 1 is 1 minus 2 plus 1, which is 2 minus 2 is 0, right? Since f of 1 is equals to 0, so what we'll do, we'll write one independent variable z into 1 by, find the derivative of f of theta. f dash of theta is 2 theta minus 2, right? So, we'll get 2 theta minus 2 into e power z. Okay, find f dash of 1. For a equals to 1, we'll find f dash of a. Right? Replace theta by 1. We'll get 2 into 1, 2 minus 2 equals to 0. Again, we got 0, right? See, if we get 0, the denominator, if, if by replacing theta by 1, we'll get 0. The total term in the denominator becomes 0. So, we will get something like this. 1 by 0 into e power z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. For that purpose, we will put 1z into 1 by, we will find the derivative of this. Okay? Into e power z again. Here, if you replace theta by 1, you got 0. So, what we have to do? 
if we replace theta by 1, we'll get 0, right? Something like this. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. So we cannot replace theta by 1 here. So since f dash of 1 is equal to 0, so this becomes equals to z. Already we have one z. Put one more z into 1 by find derivative of f dash of theta. We need to find f double dash of theta which is equals to 2. Right? Derivative of theta with respect to theta is 1. So we will get 2 here. So write 2 here into e power z which is equals to z squared by 2 into e power z. Right? Now let's write in terms of x by replacing e power z by x and z by log x. Then yp becomes z squared log x whole squared by 2 into replace e power z by x you get log x whole squared by 2 into x or you can write this as x by 2 into log x whole squared okay we got yp and yc so let's write the general solution The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we have c1 plus c2 log x into x plus yp. x by 2 into log x whole square. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations with non-constant questions or variable questions in this video hope you'll understand and see you in the next video until then bye bye